Brian, it seems like NYCFC has some issues scoring goals in the league, but in the Champions League, they've been able to uh, score a lot. We know how many dangerous players they have all over the pitch. From what you've been able to watch of them, do you notice any differences? And from your end, what, what do you guys have to do in order to be successful and be able to contain them? Well, <clears throat> look, I've been trying to fight a narrative that we were not good in our league form and good in our Champions League form uh, here in Seattle earlier this year. So I don't buy into the fact that NYC is struggling to score goals. I mean, they've got too many talented players. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge for sure. Uh, but we're confident. I mean, we're, we're confident that we've prepared well. Uh, we've watched a lot of film on NYCFC because they're not a, you know, opponent that we play often. So, you know, we'll have to make sure that the stuff that the players see and hear, uh, you know, translates into actionable items on the field. Jim Ayoshan. Yeah, Brian, you have a lot of players on this team that have um, experience in competitions like this. Uh, when you're playing another MLS team, does there still value in that sort of competition? Is there, uh, is that maybe less so? Um, just kind of looking to understand if, if that sort of like international competition is uh, the experience in, in these kinds of games really matters or not. Well, Jeremiah, if you go back a few years to when we had two-legged playoff series in MLS, there were certain tactics and, you know, things that you thought about differently than, you know, one game knockout playoff type situation. So whether it's an international competition versus an MLS club, or whether it's versus a Mexican club or Honduran club or El Salvador, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's still a two-legged series. So there are some nuances there that we, yeah, have experience in. And I think that'll certainly help us. Masvita. Yeah. Hey, Brian, just the whole 90 minutes is important, right? And how much have you kind of stressed that in terms of just start strong, stay compact, and then obviously finish strong to the, to the club? Uh, well, we're going to stay compact. We're going to finish strong. I mean, 90 minutes is critical. Getting off on the right foot, you know, helped us against Lyon. Um, but anything can happen. So it's actually 180 minutes. We'd love to have a positive result at home, but if things don't quite go our way or it's a tighter series, then, you know, we'll be ready for it. I mean, we've shown that we can win away from home. I think our road record in MLS is pretty darn good. So. Last question with Jada Evans. Thank you. Thanks, Brian, for taking the time. Uh, you haven't played them since uh, 2019, and obviously your roster is uh, vastly different except for a, a few players. Um, but them with Taddy, uh, is there anything from that game that you can kind of glean, and can you also talk a little bit about him and the, and the talent that he brings? No. We, 2019 is ancient history, and Castellanos is a very good player very talented player uh, was a big part of their championship run last year to win MLS cup. So super talented. I know there's rumors out there of them trying to sell him, get rid of them, you know, move him on, but he's still here and he's still a really talented player. So we have to watch out for him. <laughs> 